Let's make sure we're making the stick safe here and not here. Okay, we need to stay over top of these so we can just put it into the corner rather than driving it up into the glass and becoming a nightmare in our own zone. Does that make sense? Camera guy's a loser. Not a boy. Awkward. Last one. Good start, boys. I'm a good goalie. Stay over it. That a boy. Two more. Two more. Last one. Atta boy. Just make sure, especially on your short side, make sure you're staying over and not pulling back at all. Right, you had a few that you pull back just a little bit and it doesn't go where you want it. Make sure you're staying here. Right, that's one thing. There's never a recovery if we don't see it there. Right, it'll never get there. Okay, because we'll screw up. This session is going to be a lot of simple saves because I feel like it is very important to make sure that these routine simple saves are happening very easily for us. Okay, especially heading into this time of the year. I don't want to start picking you guys apart heavily at this time of the year, right? We got playoffs, all that crap right, right away here. So let's just make sure we're seeing pucks getting our feet under us and controlling rebounds. All we're doing now, boys, okay? I'm on my post. We're going to step up on the steep angle, meaning I need to drive this toe right up ice so I can get square and I'm not stepping to the middle. And all we're going to do is narrow drop because we're on the steep angle. I'm going to shoot it at this area. Every puck that we drop that hits you in this area is two push-ups. If I mess up on the shot, then I'm not doing push-ups, but uh, it's not push-ups for you. I already worked out today, boys. Not a video. Can't you tell? As camera guy said, my face is starting to look less fat. Ready? Yep. Not a boy. Yep. Beautiful. That's just a good shooter though. Got a boy. That's two. Let's go. There, that was way better. Last one. Good stance here. Yep. There. Way better. And the, the last few when you had a tighter stance, your butterfly was much tighter. Okay? And when we get into this next variation, you'll see why that's so important. Oh yeah, a little pu chest pump for the boys. Ah, that's nice. Yep. Okay, just one thing. Just make sure we're not chasing depth too much. Okay, like just get your feet set here. You don't need to get out here on these bad angles, okay? Yep. Way better. That a boy, see it hit ya. Yep. My bad. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> there it is. Beauty. Okay. So one thing that's going to really help you, go down for me. Go down for me. You can listen to this. Okay. Make sure everything in our belly, make sure this isn't getting in this area. Because now you're taking away your space for absorbing this thing. Just stay, keep your arm in tight. Don't bring this arm inside. Okay. Build a wall here. All right. It's not going to go through you there. And now you can absorb into it. Does that make sense? As soon as I start to get handsy and take away this area, well, fuck, it's hard. Now I look like a T-Rex. Okay, quick water. Same drill, but I can shoot anywhere now. Okay, so it's so freaking important on these angles that my knees are tight. If my knees are not tight, I'm gonna become an absolute passer to the middle off your pad. If I'm not tight in my knees, boys, like right here, I can't shift into this puck, right? If I get wide and flared, I have holes in my arms. I can't get in here. And like I said, I'm going to be a passer to the middle of the ice. If there's one, one time to get your knees as tight as possible, it's on these bad angles. See that blue line, where the blue line would be? There and here. Does that make sense? Got it? English? I always got to make sure I'm speaking English. I know seven different languages, so sometimes I uh, start talking the other ones. Yep!
Where did I just talk about that hole opening up? I went under my ball. It went through here. Oh, it got hit my finger. It, yeah, through there, because your knees were flared. I could even roll back the tape for you. Get your knees tight. Yep. Beautiful. That a boy. Yeah, you hope to God there's not an F-front guy standing right there. That's a one-timer. You get the assist on that one. That's exactly why, though, we have to get our knees together on that. As soon as we start chasing it with our legs, right through the middle of the ice. And if there's no one there, then maybe it's a good rebound. But we shouldn't be training to do that. That's okay. That's okay. It's just, it's just a flare. You lose the length of your limbs when you're flared, man. That's a catchable puck. The one before, tough shot, but that one's a catchable puck, and that's just from your knees. It's a flare you can Yeah, just get your knees together. Like, pull them together. Yeah, reach. Because now, like, reach again, you're past the post. There it is. Oh! We're gonna play those all day. Hey, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. That's a tough placement. Yep. Beauty. Good track, good recovery. One thing to, to take into consideration, boys, is it's not always gonna be perfect, right? Like, that's not real life, but we gotta try to give ourselves the best chance on everything. If we're not giving ourselves a best chance and we spit out a bad rebound, well then that's on us. Yep. Just causes chaos, right? Just makes our job way harder. Instead of just stop one, we have to stop an absolute gong show after that. Okay? Focus on getting your knees tight. See the puck. That a boy. It's not terrible, but you didn't see it out. And you don't see it out, your recovery is slow. And you don't have a chance if that goes right on a guy's tape. Okay? So make sure you see it in, see it out. Because if it's not in our glove or our belly, play's still going. Okay, the other thing you guys can think of all the time, pretend there's a line between the post and the dot on both sides. Keep the rebound out of that area. As soon as you get on your inside edges, you're bound to go down with your knees apart. So it's, it starts from your feet. If you have a tight stance, you'll have a tight butterfly. Because once I get wide, even just my lateral movement's absolute puke. Okay, I mean, if they get to where a camera guy is, like it's a little different, right? We can start to widen out, but anything above the tops of the circles, we have to stay narrow. And that just comes in practice. Working on it in practice, because in a game, you're, you don't want to be thinking, you just want to be playing, right? Yeah. Make sure we recognize that we now have to be on a steeper angle, because I'm right-handed, eh? Not a boy, see everything. Beautiful. Seems routine and easy, but it has to be. Yep. Okay, boys, one thing that we can learn from that last rep. Why didn't that stay in? Your momentum wasn't stopped. If our momentum's moving at all, we will not be able to keep anything in. It'll hit us and bounce straight off. So our goal every single time in a play should be to beat the pass, to get there and get set and create that advantage for you as much as you possibly can. Don't just get there when the pass is getting there. Beat the pass. Like, get there early. It's only going to make your job way, way easier. You're set. You're ready. Now I'm shooting anywhere. Control everything. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just make sure you're stepping to the middle too much right now. It's a smaller movement. My stick's down here. Nice six. Oh, thank you. Nice save. How many push-ups if I score? Yep. Yep. So uh, the only reason that I scored is because you stepped off your post too much. You stepped this way, rather than up. So anytime I'm on my post, boys, this other foot 
has to go directly to the puck if I'm on a bad angle. So I can go take it right at me, right at that puck. Wherever I have to go, this toe goes, leads me.